follow that funky sci-fi robotic sound all the way to your TV. Welcome back, it's Express. So time to get into our Tech Daily update. And this one, uh, as you can imagine, has piqued a lot of interest, certainly from my perspective as a small business entrepreneur wanting to drive my business model at the moment. That has been made very difficult, but this big announcement certainly brings a little light at the end of the tunnel. The Mobile Institute of South Africa, due to all of the load shedding that has gone over the past couple of weeks, and I think many <laughs> cell phone towers have gone down due to power surges for me at just the wrong times. This has put a massive strain on the remaining towers, you might have picked that up, which have then had to pick up the slack. So in order to relieve some of that burden on networks, Misa is rolling out a nationwide data shedding program. And here to explain how it works exactly, because it is quite technical, is our tech expert, Brian Smith. Welcome to it, buddy. <sighs> Thanks for having me back. Um, we are shedding everything but the kilo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love that. What's going that on? What is data shedding? I think that, let's Absolutely. unpack that. So, unfortunately, on a Monday morning, we'd like to start off with some good news, but uh, uh, here's a dose of realism in the sense that as some South Africans might know, with the instability of our electrical grid and the ongoing concern of load shedding, different cellular towers will go down when power ceases to operate. Now, that creates the risk of not only do consumers tend to move from spot to spot to try and get a good uh, cellular <laughs> reception, but also the remaining operational towers have to supplement that demand. Uh, of course, there is a huge risk in this, given that there is limited bandwidth to play in the mobile space. So, of course, South African consumers now will be uh, in sort of have to embrace the idea of data shedding, which under MISO is where uh, different cellular towers will basically allocate different demands to cell phone numbers depending on their mobile network code. So that's the first three digits of your phone number, where you'll be essentially be denied service for two hours of a day to allocate and essentially... And it's blanket across all of the networks, eh? I'm looking across. at that schedule and I don't see my code there, so that doesn't mean I'm not going to be shedding. Uh, yeah, no, live in hope. <laughs> um, the one you know, bizarre thing is that it at least allows you to prepare for it, because that was a big frustration for me, was kind of having these gateways hit me at just the wrong times when I needed to do business and needed things to work. Um, how, how can we best prepare for this, do you think? That's a good question, you know, in modern times we don't necessarily feel like we want to be without our smartphone but there are a number of online services at least we can use to mark ourselves safe or at least have some surety during this process of having no connections so for example Facebook has a feature called safety check where you can mark yourself safe online uh, a good practice that's being recommended across the country is that consumers when they know they'll be without service is to either tweet send a selfie make sure that you are marked as safe as possible yeah um, as well as that uh, of course landline infrastructure will still work during data sharing so South African consumers are actually encouraged to either use landlines or to go to Do a landline phone. phones still exist? You, <laughs> I, do, I imagine there's like one red phone sitting in every community that everyone's going to have to share. <laughs> well, that's unfortunately the reality <laughs> going forward. So uh, consumers are encouraged to go to pay phones in their local mall or civic centres. And take a photo uh, while you're doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, how long are we expecting this to last? Unfortunately, that's somewhat of the elephant in the room at this stage, given the ongoing instability of our electrical grid and load shedding. There's no real clear consensus as to how long this will last. Uh, experts are saying that this will be very closely tied to how long load shedding itself lasts, but present estimates say that this will be ongoing for about six months. Ah, oh, man. Um... Very frustrating, we know, but at least we're all in the same boat together. So maybe you can um, bring a little bit of light to the situation and have some fun with us. Maybe you can post some uh, pictures of you being safe out there. We can develop a new emoji to say, I am safe, while technology shuts down around me. But thanks so much um, to Brian for being the bearer of bad news. <laughs> um, and hopefully next week you'll come with something slightly more positive, but you can let us know what's, what's um, piquing your interest in the world of technology. Hit us up um, on expressor.com. You can get all of those cool stories and maybe um, something has... Um, you can shine a light on one of those stories for us.